So before I build the spinous process, I'm going to adjust the blade a little bit more. If you look in the side window here, you can see where that large portion of the scapula actually has this bend, and it bends uh, in consistently with the contour. It follows the contour, matches the contour of the rib cage. If you think of it from the front view, the rib, the lateral margin of the rib is going to be right about here. And the scapula is going to follow that. So this portion of the scapula, the, you know, the neck and the glenoid fossa, uh, those areas are going to be more, um, are not going to be bending as they join together to help fold, uh, form the shoulder. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to select faces here. And I've got pretty much in that co collection what I want. And I'm going to bend these. Um, by first selecting the animation menu set, then going under create deformers, nonlinear, and bend. And that immediately gives me a bend tool. And if I hit the letter T, it shows me the manipulator tool. Okay, and if I grab that middle point you can see where I'm able to bend but I'm bending not I'm not bending in the axis I want if you look here under my channel box inputs bend you can see I have values here the low bound and the high bound with that manipulator still selected with this bend still selected I'm going to rotate it and I'm not sure which way to do it but I believe I want to rotate in the y-axis. And if I rotate like that, I can see, yes, that is the y-axis. So I'm going to change that to 90 degrees. Hit T again. And now you can see I can bend. And you can see the, the bend of former following the orientation I want. And here, it works very well. I'm really going right up the axis of that bone. But here... I'm starting to bend a little too extremely. You know, I've, I've lost, it's, it's subtle. It's not as extreme. So I can take, this is actually the low bound value. And by moving that up, I reduce how much bend is being applied to those faces. And as a result, I get a subtler bend below. So that gives me this kind of shape. Now it's a little extreme and I have to, I have to adjust a couple things, but it works very well here. And if we do a smooth select, you can see it works very well there. And it's not quite as, it, I'm not quite able to get what I want over here, um, but I'm going to have to adjust that a little bit. For example, I could just pull this face and still maintain what I want above here. So maybe I could have included that in the original selection. I can grab this edge here for example and increase the depression for the uh, subscapularis muscle and I can pull this and make a ridge there's that ridge there so we'll work on that later those are kind of a subtle changes we can do later but it will give you some idea what um, what should be done with with this shape? Now we're ready to add the spinous process and the chromium on the posterior surface.